But yeah, good to see you. Hope all's going well tonight. Hey, we get another tool. Awesome. All right, so yeah, this introduces us to the skeet thing. Let's see if our score's improved. Ah, shit. Ah, the damn wheel's still doing that. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to disable it. I'll just probably have to bite the bullet and find another trackball. It's less problematic with this, but... Eh, what can you do? I'm so used to it, too. It gives me damn near pixel-perfect maneuvering. Like, I've gotten really good at making minute edits. Now, what do we got here? Ooh, okay, this is fun. We get the rocket booster, which lets us basically slap a nitro booster on a car. Now, at its default setting, this doesn't give you much on its own, but we can put more than one. Let's do a demonstration here real quick. So, yeah. The van doesn't have a lot of pickup by itself. But, when we juice it up a little bit... Oh, hang on a second. Oh, damn it, wait, no. The rocket booster is... Okay, here's the thing. There are two different types of boosters. This, you stick onto a static object and it'll launch it. Which is helpful, but not the same as the vehicle boosters, which are a separate thing you get that looks very similar to this. So, my mistake, this isn't quite what you use it for. But, we can technically use it for this purpose. In fact... As you can see there, it dies out pretty quickly, and you don't get a lot of thrust. It's basically if you want, a pr want to propel a non-rocket projectile some distance. Like, say, if it's an objective or something, and you want to launch it in the general direction of your escape point. That would be a possible use for it. So it has its uses, it's just not the... not quite what I was looking for. Anyway, let's go check the look at their... Yeah, yeah, that figures. I always did like the Kensington, however. Anyway, let's see what the news is saying about our latest crime spree. Reservoir dam breaks. A so <laughs> I like how they phrase that. A sudden rise in water levels was reported in Locale Municipality after the dam broke. Locale Recreational Fishing Club's Alicia Keene claims flooded areas are covered by current kil <laughs> quite shallow fishing permits. Well, good to know that they're insured. That's the important thing. Fully in the hands of regular mice now. Yeah, I'll probably have to find something that uh, works for me. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Gillian Johnson, motivational reminder. I must say I'm very happy with our fruitful collaboration. I'd like to suggest we deepen our relationship with something we call motivational reminders. It's a marketing technique that we sometimes employ for key customers. I recently had a meeting with Amonetides about policy for Blue Tide Inc. He's, hes he's hesitating to include his propane tanks in the policy, and I think a friendly reminder on why that's a good idea could nudge him in the right direction. Since I don't run Gordon's account anywhere, an upsell to Amonetides would look per would look really pretty in my bonus check. Of course, I'll make sure you're properly compensated and have all expenses covered. All right. Gordon Wu. Ha! I almost choked on my express espresso this morning when I turned on the news. Hilarious! I've been giggling all morning. Turns out that bomb worked even better than I planned. Great work. Yeah, you're real... You're real proud of yourself there, buddy. He'll get his, don't worry. Anyway, Parisa Turdivan. Satellite dishes. I've been going through the blue tide computers, and I think I'm onto something. This actually might be bigger than I first thought and goes way deeper than just Lee. Blue tide is controlled by someone called Mr. Amonetides. Aha! Uh -huh. It's coming full circle here, but there are no official records on him. Like, he didn't exist. A lot of information is deleted from the computers, but I remember seeing satellite dishes on some of the buildings, and I got this idea to hack them and download the communications data directly. I know I said before there wouldn't be any more favors, but this really is the last one. By the way, seems like they didn't appreciate our last visit because Blue Tide just filed a security report for an armed guard helicopter. Be safe. Okay, so. We got a couple more missions here. So, we'll do the side mission first, because something big happens at the end of this next mission for the cops. But first, let's clear this. Motivational reminder out on Hollow Rock. 
monotype propane tanks for Jillian to demonstrate the true value of proper insurance. All right. So this is another case where we need to destroy stuff in a short amount of time. Fish processing factory, blue tide stand, plant research tab. So fortunately, these are all very explosive, so touching them off with just about anything will do. But we need a place where we can destroy most of them in quick succession. So. Let's take a look at the one on the roof first. Actually, wait, hang on a second. I just remembered we never did raid the vault, and I think the thing we're looking for to get in is somewhere in here. Going back through the uh, footage, I thought I overlooked something somewhere in these tunnels. And that's kind of the only way into the bank vault. Yes, here we go. Alright, so. This here grate is our way into the vault. And it's a straight shot up there. Unfortunately, we don't have the way to climb there. At least not legitimately. Actually, wait, no. Uh, we do have a way to sort of jank our way up there. And that doesn't involve the grappling hook. If I recall right, we need to use the planks and just sort of build a weird, kludgy little platform. Yep. Box. There, we need to shorten that one. That'll do. Alright, good. tell here the game wasn't really designed for tight quarters. We're basically going to lamb ladder our way up, but just with planks. We're going to use the physics of these things to sort of force our way up this very small tunnel. Ah, I think I might have... Might have built that a little narrow. <laughs> that one was just for you, Zero. Like maybe three or four other people watching this. Go play the original Deus Ex people. It's still awesome. Hey, <laughs> gotta install it. <laughs> Leo pointing. <laughs> what was that movie from? Was that Wolf of Wall Street? I've seen it all. I've seen it everywhere. I feel like I've seen the seen the movie that's from, but I cannot re remember it. All right. Once upon a time in Hollywood. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what if we run up like this? And shit. What if we run up? Backwards. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Ah. Problem is when a thing clips... Okay, I think I clipped into it. Awesome. We just need to get a little bit higher. Alright, what if we do this? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. A little bit higher. There we go, there we go. Yes! Excellent! Perfect. Alright. So yeah, as mentioned, the safe is completely indestructible except for this vent right here. And once we have it... Oh yeah, stack of gold bullion worth 1500 bucks. Fuck yeah! What's this? Bag of cash value $400. That's a fucking pickup! Now, how we get it out of here is an exercise best left to the imagination. Suffice to say, I'm rich, biatch! The hookshot would be the quickest way to get up there, although it's still a little bit tricky. You kind of need a stable platform to reorient yourself while you're in the air. So you do need some planks to get around, but that would be the faster way to do it. Anyway. So. Propane tank up here. Propane tank behind the decor. So I'm thinking... Behind the pressure cooker. So let's get up top. Actually, can we... Can we decouple this without setting it off? That would be funny. In fact, I think that is part of the solution. Or at least part of how I did it. Nice, 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 nice!
Now, how do we get you down from here without blowing you up? That's the question. Now, maybe we don't have to. If we can just get you to the edge of the roof, we can pop you from the ground. And that'll be good enough. Yeah, that'll work. The others should be similarly malleable. So... Let's get this one here. I see you. Alright. So that's the secret that's the secret ingredient in their energy drink pro drink hat. That's the secret ingredient in their energy tank, propane. Damn, that's dash cunning of them. Alright. Beautiful. Fortunately these things are light enough that you can drag them pretty much anywhere you need to. Obviously, the more of these you can blow up at one time, the easier your job gets. There we go. There's another tank in there. First floor. I think it is technically possible to get most, if not all, of them close. Fuck! <laughs> Okay. Fire a problem for pressurized gas. Good to know. You know, we use a bomb for this. There we go. That's the stuff. Now, you go this way. Let's save. <laughs> Top of the world, ma! Just need my cowboy hat. God damn it! Ah! This is, to be sure, not the smartest way to go about doing this. But I just like the efficiency of blowing up as many of these at once as possible. We're all about keeping things practical, Lakel Teardown Services. Maximize gains, minimize resource expenditure. Alright, it's behind the pressure cooker. Set it down that way. Alright, let's blow out the wall. Beautiful. It obviously doesn't quite work as well as I remembered on large chunks of stuff, but it's a good way to clear a path. So we'll blow away smaller chunks of concrete quite reliably. Alright. Let's cut you down. Beautiful, beautiful. Bring you two together. Let's make one big happy propane family here. Fuck! <laughs> okay, too close together. Right, easy does it, easy does it. Actually, we'll leave you right here. We'll get the other ones. Let's get the other ones loose and in the wild first. Is that guy over here? Take out another wall. Can do! We now have several methods of doing so. You really do grow to appreciate the escalation and the scale of destruction you're capable of. And it's not necessarily that your objectives get more exotic to match, although they certainly do.
but a lot of late game missions you're still capable of getting them done through tried and true methods. It's more that the tools you get expand your options. Above all, this is a game that encourages you to think creatively. Alright, so that's three right there. Very good. So, three more to bring over, looks like. Uh, four more, I'm sorry. So, upper floor. Ah, is that so? Nice of them to put the, light, the uh, lighthouse back up after I knocked it over. I will do them this kindness and not knock it over again. So much as just give myself a nice little indicator of where where to do the most damage. There we go. One shot right there will take care of it. And there's that one. The greenhouse. Yoink. There you are. Alright, we just gotta get this stuff out of the way. Fuck you, science. You gotta get yours one day. Alright, fact. Rather than do anything especially complicated, let's just park you right here. <laughs> Damn it! I was gonna say, let's park you right near the window and make a big old shooting gallery. Perfect, good. Alright, next one. I think that might be... There's this one right over here, and that might be... Oh, no, I'm sorry, there's two over here. All right. Ow. Hey, thirty dollar disc cutter, awesome. I feel like that would be worth a little bit more. I don't know. I haven't priced my tools recently. All right, you were gonna need. You were going to need up here. Just for funsies. Just got to be careful not to swing it too much. Which unfortunately is hard to avoid with this thing. Easy does it. Easy does it. Yeah, just a big old propane shooting gallery. And the last one right here, second floor. Perfect, perfect. In fact, I think some of this stuff is explosive in here. Maybe this stuff? <laughs> awesome! I'm amazed that did not set that off. Anyway, that gives us a nice target spot. Alright. One, two, three, four, five... And six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll work nicely. Let's pull the other one into blast range. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get cute with me now. All right. All right. Here we go. And a one, and a two, and a three. It's crime time! Uh, 
there is some bullet drop there, unfortunately. Did that not get those? There we go. Alright, this is gonna take some practice. Much fun as it is to pop things off at targets from all the way across the map, the rocket launcher makes that take a little bit of practice. So instead, let's do this. It's crime time! Uh, that not work? That works. There we go. Box, where's the last one? Oh, I think it's up there. Ah, it didn't blow up the one in the lighthouse. Box! Yes! Excellent! Uh, where's my escape vehicle? Shit, it's all the way over there. <laughs> okay. Not as much finesse as I was counting on, but eh. Can't say it didn't get the job done. And again, that's the strength of this game. It doesn't care how messy the solution is. Just get it under the time limit. That's all you need. That was a side mission, so we'll do one more mission tonight. So this isn't the plot mission I was thinking of, because this sends us back to Hollow Rock, and what I'm thinking of sends us back to Lee Chemicals one last time, after it's been flooded. But this does introduce an el a gameplay element that will come up. So you see here, Blue Tide just filed a security report for an armed guard helicopter. So that helicopter that's been appearing at the end of the mission, you might have noticed that it was tracking our position with the searchlight as we left. There's a bit more to that than meets the eye. Let's get this mission going and you'll see what we mean. And you might have actually noticed this when you die. It will list the list of things that can damage you, including fire, explosives, ice, or, you know, cold water, like, you know, water in cold weather, and notably, bullets. Now you might be asking, what could those bullets possibly come from? We're going to find out. So, this mission has us hack these targets. So in a rare change, we don't need to get out of here in a set time frame. But, when we hack the first one, the helicopter arrives and it will begin blasting at us. And this thing has a pretty good sense of where we are. So, we need to make our way across this map while being shot at. And the goal here is to basically tunnel from one point to another using as much cover as possible between buildings that it will be trying to shoot through. So we are straight up getting shot at in this mission. So, what you want to do is get things as get things in as much cover as you can. Before the party starts. So yeah, you see this thing here. We should be able to dismount that. Ah, fuck. Nope, damn it. Okay, so we can't dismount that. Damn. So, we're gonna have to be extra careful about this. So. We will want a measure of cover for each thing we're going to hack, because it will take a few seconds. Because now, in addition to a demolitionist and an explosive expert, we are a hacker. So, we get that. It's basically a simple hold prompt. But the problem is, you need to do it while the thing's shooting at you. We get one freebie, and then we have to run for the rest of it. So, yeah, if I remember right, this one is the hardest one to get. It's on that communications platform. So, let's start there. Whoops! <laughs> okay. That would cause a problem. 
I expected that to be a bit sturdier than it was. Alright, so... Actually, I think we can take this down and make it accessible without having to climb. <laughs> not all not all according to Keikaku, exactly. Hey, I'm very good to see you. Alright, so we need to... Take this out just a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Let's take out the legs here. Alright, good. Good, good, good. We just need it to be accessible... Ish. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, we can hack there. In fact, we can do it from the roof. That's perfect. There's another target here. Just cut a hole through here. So we hack that one. Then we need to get to the warehouse. Which is out this way. This is a case where you don't necessarily want to make as much of a mess as normal, if only because you're going to need these buildings for cover. The thing doesn't have... the the helicopter doesn't have a perfect sense of where you are, but it does kind of loosely track you. The nearest comparison I can make is actually the alien from Alien Isolation, especially in, like, the medical levels, where it doesn't know exactly where you are, but it kind of hovers in your general area. And I think there's something similar going on. There are ways to distract it. In fact, if you set off an explosive elsewhere on the level, it'll go to investigate that. But it'll eventually make its way back to you. So I assume either the thing has some kind of infrared tracking, or it's just a very, very rudimentary AI. <laughs> a brain image of a helicopter popping up then. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So then we run over here. So yeah, the helicopter is going to be... ...destroying some of the level for us. We don't necessarily want to tear out every chunk of wall. <laughs> Bruce in a helicopter with a sniper rifle. <laughs> the helicopter knows where it is because it knows where it is not. Now... So there's this one over here. We'll bust this window out. That's good. And then we will get back across. Nail that. Yes, yes, this is working. This is perfect. I believe that last one is here. Perfect, perfect. Let's cut this open. Okay, so I think this is going to be... Oh. Oh, damn it, there's a dish up there, too. Fuck. There's always one more objective. Uh, while I'm here. Just to throw them off their scent again. It... was... Dogs... Again. Perfect! I'll never suspect a thing. Okay, where's that last dish? That is here. Alright, we'll need to move quickly through here. <laughs> whoops. So... <laughs> exactly. Always up to something, I tell ya. Yeah, so... Let's take out the floor here.
Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Again, we won't be under a strict time limit per se, but the more this thing's around, the more it's going to shoot up the level to get to us, and the harder it's going to be to get around. So still a good general policy to be as expedient as possible. Okay, so let's review. Hack this, drop down here, hack this, run over to the warehouse, hack this, run up in here, hack this, hack this. Eh, we don't have a quick way across there, so probably going to want to... Hmm. We could use the lighthouse for cover and then run through the shacks there, but it's kind of... Eh, kind of finicky. Nah, I think we'll just have to weave our way back through here, use this building for cover, get over here, and... We can use the tunnels, go through here, come out this way, and... Yeah, that should work. We'll be doing some adjusting on the fly, but I think we can make this work. Let's get to it. One, and a two, and a three. It's crime time! Alright. Hear that music change. Our hunter approaches. It won't necessarily blind fire through buildings to get you, but you can see there we've got a clear outline of where this thing is at all times. Unfortunately, it is not possible to shoot the helicopter down. Any projectile you fire at it will just go right through it. So we're being chased by a ghost helicopter, basically. And I understand why. They didn't want to make it easy given the amount of explosives you have. But it is kind of a shame. Yeah, the longer you can stay out of sight of this thing, the better. So you can see here, it doesn't know exactly where we are. Spotlight isn't quite following us. I think, yeah, every objective you get gets this thing closer to you. Ghost Chopper, exactly. Shit, I don't think there's going to be a way to hide from this thing forever. So. I really do kind of like how this works, however. The way it kind of flies around and pans its light through the windows and it's just constantly hunting for you, it really does change up your progression through the level. It just... It changes the... Your planning... From time to... Ease of traversal. And to making sure there's cover between you and this thing at all times. So again, you can distract this thing by setting off an explosive somewhere else. Anytime you hear its radio ch chatter, that's an indication that it has spotted a target or it's investigating something. So if we do this. Damn it, I think it didn't land on anything. Actually, let's do this. Ah, it didn't work. I think it has to notice the explosion. So what do we do with this? That got its attention. Alright, perfect. Alright, so we've got four objectives. All over here. Let's cause another distraction. In fact, we'll use the C4 for this, just this once. Shit! Ah, it fucking spotted me. Alright, now it knows that we're in the building and it's gonna be a bit more aggressive. A bit harder to shake. This should distract it still, but... Probably not long enough. Alright, excellent, excellent. Three more. Alright, so we gotta get over here. We gotta get to the up here somehow. That's gonna be a bitch. Alright. 
Let's try and keep this reasonably straightforward. Damn it. This is why you make your approach beforehand. Book it. Did I not blow that out? I'm pretty sure that every objective you take also summons it to your position. Even if you don't necessarily destroy it and then get it. Is there anything else in here? No. Alright. So, two more. There's this one up here, and then there's this last one by your exit point. Now, can we... Shit! Okay. Through here. Fuck! Oh yeah, it's got rockets. Did I mention that? It's not just a dude with a machine gun. We have a fucking gunship after us. Okay. Shit! need another distraction at that last point. Mm. So yeah, pretty significant gameplay change. And it re you have to retool yourself for how you approach and navigate through the level. It's still a similar pressure where you want a reasonably straight path, but now you have this thing shooting at you. Anyway, let's try this again. One and a two and a three. It's crime time! All right. Try again. Ah, Christ on hell! Cover, go! Ugh, you bastard! Yeah, that thing means business. It can punch through every bit of cover you can. So there's a lot of improvising on the fly based on... A lot of thinking on the fly based on where it is, how much of it... How, how close it is to spotting you, and what terrain it's destroying. Anyway... Let's try that one more time. <clears throat> it's crap time! Stay low. Oh, hey! Turbo wipe! Awesome! We can use some pesticide back at the office. I'd like to imagine this guy just ducking gunfire and running for his life, coming across that and saying, Oh, I could use that. Alright. Actually, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe be slightly... Eh. There really is no good way to get up there.
crap. Yeah, once this thing corners you, you really have no recourse other than to haul ass. Word of fire, throw a building at them. Hey, Orange, good to see ya. Yeah, sadly, yeeting a building at it is not gonna help us with this one. Fuck! Yeah, considering this is a sandbox destruction game, this is a pretty effective AI for sweeping a building and looking on a level playing field with a player. From variable altitude. I mean, it might just be trickery with the level geometry. We're just coming up with some other cheats, which, you know, a lot of games use gimmicks to make a uh, to, to make a, an enemy look smarter than it is. But it's still something I genuinely did not expect going into this game. And I respect the game for being willing to experiment a little bit with what kinds of gameplay you would get out of a destruction simulator. Exactly, yeah. Sadly, this enemy you do not get to shoot at. However, there will be other enemies in the game, and those we can shoot at. Sort of. Ah, shit. Damn it. Let us... There we go. Cause another distraction. There. Hurry up. Oh, come on, man. Fuck! Alright. Hustle. Jesus. Almost all objectives. Just gotta get back to... This way. Ah. There it is. Fuck. Oh god damn it. Let me grab the cash register. It's really the kinds that the kind of things that matter in this workaday world. Okay. Need one more distraction so we can get to the boat and boogie on out of here. Ruined our message, but eh. Get to the boat, get to the boat! Yes! <laughs> outbreak, outbreak. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's a doozy. It's not technically a long mission, but as you can see, it's deceptively tricky to stay out of that thing's line of fire while you get your job done. And you can see here it's not tracking our way out of here because this isn't a timed objective. You just get out before you get shot to ribbons. Midnighter. Nice! That's a cool-ass title. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Zero. So yeah, our second floor here is coming along nicely. In fact, how's our bedroom looking? Hey! Hey! Oh! oh! Thanks, Orange. Still pretty basic in terms of layout, but this this whole second floor will get a lot nicer as we progress. Let's see what our Lacinius efforts have earned us. 
Oh, this is the vehicle thruster. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Let's jack this thing up. Yay! Yeah, here we go. Alright. So, let's see. Yes, want some power on this bad boy. And we don't need that many thrusters. So, we'll buy some more rockets instead. There we go. Let's go show you what these bad boys can do. Eh, you really don't need that many on a single vehicle. Two should be enough. Anyway. So yeah, your average forklift doesn't get much pickup. Slap a few of these bad boys on there, however. Not a lot more pickup, but it has a higher top speed and can ram through stuff more effectively. Let's try it on something a little... let's try it on the van. There we go. Yer, look at this thing! <laughs> yes! Best thing is, these things are basically indefinite. As far as I know, you cannot exhaust the nitrous. Ah. God, that's fun. Alright. We will call it there, but let's see what missions are in store for us. I think that plot mission I was alluding to is next, but that will be something for next time. Alright, sudden satellite TV coverage. Since this morning, a number of citizens have reported that they can now receive television programs previously unavailable. Finally, I can watch the live broadcast of Best Chefs of Greenland. Hey, alright, so we are on Earth. Awesome. Says local food aficionado Graham Stolup. Well, that is a Norwegian-ass name if I've ever seen one. There's no immediate explanation according to the National Television Commission so yeah, basically because of our efforts on Hollow Rock Islands, we are allowing more of the country free TV. See, I, I feel like they should be thanking us for this. We're doing a public service by busting into places and fucking with their equipment. But anyway, hey, mom sent us an email. It looks like this is going to be our best month in, re in best month in years. If this continues, we'll finally be able to replace the heating we talked about. Anyway, just wanted to say thanks. Well done. Hugs and kisses, Mom. Aww. See, Mom's happy with us. And all we had to do was a whole fuckload of crime. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, fuck Comcast and related. Anyway, so yeah. Cops have us once again, and they're going to have one more favor for us, naturally. Sorry to contact you again. I was going through the satellite data when I heard about the dam break at Lee. Ah, yes, the dam break, which we definitely were not involved with. I've been waiting for an opportunity to get a hold of Lee's accounting. It's the last missing piece in my Lee investigation. He's kept it hidden in various places, but right now the whole place is flooded due to some accident in the power plant. Yes, complete mystery there. And he moved everything upstairs. The site is completely empty at the moment, so this is a golden opportunity to get a hold of those documents. So yeah, this is an important plot mission, and we'll have an interesting little plot twist right afterward, but we will get to that next time. <laughs> Crime pays, exactly. All right. Uh, yeah, we will call it there. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good night. Uh, tomorrow night, I will be playing Fading Afternoon, which is the most me game I have ever played in my life. You'll see when we get there, but it's got some interesting stuff going on that I really want to talk about. But have a good night, everyone. See you next time.